Hello and welcome to A Book in Two Minutes. My name is Lindsay Milner and I'm a training and development consultant working mainly with non-profit organisations to help them to create awesome workplaces. And while I've been doing that work, I have read a great deal of books. Business books, books on business development, books on personal development, books on thinking and on effective management. And I thought it might be quite interesting to share some of what I've gained from reading those with you. Today's book is called 59 Seconds and it is by Professor Richard Wiseman. The book title doesn't really give you any clue as to what it is, although, uh, oh, actually, even the subtitle doesn't really tell you that much. Think a little, change a lot. The concept of the book is, is a quick summary of things that work. Uh, he's busting the myths of self-help books, and I think a few years ago, um, self-help books were kind of all over the place and positive thinking and we should do affirmations and we should visualise our success. And uh, Professor Wiseman looks at why these things don't work. He has done some research himself and he also draws on other people's research to say what works, why it works. And the book also has a number of very quick tips uh, for people who are busy it's 59 seconds to have a look at a way to improve things there's sections in there on decision making uh, relationships happiness creativity dealing with stress parenting so like quite a lot of things that we can use to add, improve our lives and it's actually quite good as a reference. I think some of the research will have come across before, if you've read any of the other books that I've reviewed so far, a lot of the themes crop up. For example, there's the, the thing about don't praise a child's achievement, praise their effort, uh, which we first came across in Mindset. Um, actually thinking about it, that might have been the first place I came across it um, because I've only just recently read Mindset. But this book was published in 2009 um, and I think at that time maybe the tide was turning in terms of self-help books. Everybody was like, oh, self-help books don't work, they're a waste of time. And people started focusing more on, well, what's the scientific research what really works what can we take that actually does improve things um, and another one that um, again I think I might have come across for the first time when reading this back in 2009 is about a gratitude journal the research shows that people who keep a gratitude journal uh, and Wiseman talks about other ways of writing different ways of keeping a diary and that those that the, if you write in a specific way it can have a, a beneficial effect on your happiness it, you know, his research shows that people are happier if they have focused in a particular way on um, an event and how it made them feel um, and one comparison that he makes with that is that if you talk about a really negative event in your life talking about it doesn't actually help people to feel much better but if you write about it then the research shows that people do actually start to feel better about this negative thing that happened in the past so he he's in favor of writing as a writing a gratitude journal writing a journal in this way of making a note of negative events can actually lead to you actually feeling happier there's lots of tips in there, as I say, about creativity, about good parenting, about procrastination. There isn't a section called procrastination, but it, it does crop up in the motivation section. Um, yeah, so what works in terms of motivation? Lots of really useful advice there that can be applied quite quickly. So, so it's a 
fairly interesting read but is probably even more valuable as a reference. So that's today's book, uh, 59 Seconds by Professor Richard Wiseman. Look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for a further book in two minutes. Facebook Live, 4pm. Bye.